Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to install COBOL on your Windows PC. I am going to refer this blog on mainframeis.com. To get COBOL installed, first thing that we want to install in our Windows PC is WSL. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. We are going to install Debian distribution. For installing Debian, we go to Microsoft Store and we just search for Debian. Once you find it, just click on install. It will take maybe less than a minute to install it. And once it is installed, we'll launch it. So I'm going to click on open and you'll get a prompt. Click on launch. Once you launch it, you will get a command prompt. Here you have to enter your new Unix username and password. Make sure to remember it. Okay, once your distribution is installed, we'll go ahead and install GNU COBOL. This is a open source compiler for COBOL. That I highly recommend you to go to the website that I'll link in the description and check out the documentation. Installing GNU COBOL is quite easy. It's just a simple one command that is sudo install GNU COBOL. You might get a prompt. Do you want to continue? Make sure to uh, enter Y. Next step, we are going to download VS Code. I have given the link in description. Just click on it. We will be mostly using the default settings. Okay, once you have installed VS Code, we are going to go ahead and install extensions. First one is WSL to connect to our Debian distro. The second would be Bitlang Copol for syntax highlighting. After that, we are going to connect to our WSL. For that, click Ctrl Shift P, type WSL and choose the option connect to WSL using distro when you get an option to choose the distro choose Debian so the installation part is done now we are going to go ahead and create COBOL projects folder or directory and then we are going to proceed with the actual code for creating a directory for your projects we'll use terminal from the menu or you can just press ctrl tilt the key above your tab type code space period and press enter this will open vs code uh, with the cobol projects directory already open now here we are going to create a new file hello.cobol and we are going to write our first program hello world from here you can copy the code directly from the blog or better yet you can write your own code Now if you see even though we installed the extension we are not able to see any syntax highlighting here that is because for WSL you need to install again. Once it is done you will see that now the syntax highlighting works as expected. Now for the next part we are going to go ahead and compile the code. First we are going to give the command copc hyphen x and name of our code. We get a warning and that is on line number 19 that line is not terminated by a new line. To fix that we just go to the stop run line and press enter. 
so that line number 19 ends with a new line character once that is done just recompile your code and after recompilation you will see that an executable file is created with the same name as your COBOL code now you are going to go ahead and run that executable file so for running executable file we will give period forward slash name of that executable file so in our case it is period forward slash hello and if you press enter you will be able to see the output of your program <laughs>